Hello everyone and welcome to our final episode of HHS TV of the semester. I'm your host Ben Lee Woods and I'm Tommy Nation. We have a jam-packed episode planned for you today so let's get started. For our first segment we have Dan with an interview with Mr. Sullivan. Hello we're here with Mr. Sullivan. I uh, would like to ask you a few questions. Where did you go to school? I uh, went to school at UMass in Amherst as an undergrad and then I went to UMass Boston for my graduate degree, which has a little bit of psychology and a little bit of philosophy. Okay, uh, how did you get into teaching? You know, when I was uh, in high school, I was pretty sure I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. I played sports and I wanted to coach and I never really wanted to, I never seriously thought of doing anything else. For some reason that seemed right to me and then when I started to study to be a teacher in college and student teaching, I, it felt right. First time I student taught, I felt like, yeah, I think I kind of like this. Maybe I could be good at it, we'll see, but I like it. And since then, I just never really considered anything else. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us, Mr. Sullivan. How cool that we have a teacher in our school that teaches out of the textbook that they wrote. By the way, you'll find the full interview on our website. And now for a segment I know you all love. You guessed it, it's movie review time, and it's a wonder. If any of you saw my review on The Greatest Showman, you'll know I called it my favorite film of 2017. Well, I think that has finally changed. Today, we will be taking a look at Wonder. Directed by Steven Chbosky, best known for directing the adaptation of his novel The Perks of Being a Wallflower, this family drama is based on the 2012 best-selling children's novel by R.J. Palacio, who also served as executive producer for the film. The plot follows Augie Pullman, a young boy born with facial differences who, after years of being homeschooled, enters the mainstream for the first time. As you may expect, Augie is constantly picked on by a majority of his peers for being different. As the film progresses, however, we watch as he eventually earns their respect. In addition to Augie, the film is also told from the points of view of other characters, such as Augie's older sister Via, his best friend Jack Will, and Via's best friend Miranda. Given the story, some might expect this movie to be a flat-out tearjerker. However, while there are some sad scenes, this is mostly a feel-good film. The overall cast is phenomenal, including big names such as Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson as Augie's parents, Manny Patinkin of The Princess Bride and Homeland as his principal, and David Diggs of Hamilton as his homeroom teacher. However, at the center of it is Augie himself, who is brilliantly played by Jacob Tremblay, best known for his Critics' Choice Award-winning performance in 2015's Room. Speaking of which, this movie helped Trombley earn his second nomination for the aforementioned award. Extra points go to the stellar makeup work, which earned makeup designer Arian Titan an Oscar nomination. Also, the characters, particularly Augie, are just so darn likable. That is, those who are supposed to be. The film also provides an excellent message about kindness and never judging a book by its cover, all without being preachy. The film even spawned its own hashtag movement relating to this message, hashtag choose kind based on one of the quotes from the film. When given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. This message also connects to me on a personal level, as I have Asperger's Syndrome. And while I've thankfully had little to no experience with bullying at school like Aki does, others like me aren't so fortunate. Even if you don't have any kids or younger siblings, I still highly recommend this movie. Not only because it's good, but also because of what it has to say. Check it out and learn how You can't blend in when you were born to stand out. Took the words right out of my mouth, Via. Now, I know this is getting ridiculous, but I'm sorry. I have to give this film 10 out of 10 astronaut helmets. Ben! I know, I know. Ben, I think that was one of the best movie reviews of the year. Thanks, Tom. It was a really great movie to review. Next up, we have a look into what goes on in Coney Club. Coney Club, uh, we meet uh, every Tuesday. Uh, in room 321 from 2 to 3. And it's a place where students can come together to collaboratively uh, solve problems creatively using computers. Yeah, so what we've done so far is last week weekend we went to an event called MA Hacks where we got a group of people together, went and did some coding as a group. We actually got some really great success there, got some great practice in and created some awesome stuff. Uh, we So far in club we've actually built an interactive video game, done some personal website stuff and a variety of other ways to learn code as well as use it to be successful and have a great time. 
Yeah, so in Coding Club, we have workshops, and we operate on a two-workshop schedule. So in the first workshop, we'll build something cool, like a website or a game. And then in our second workshop, which will happen the next week, what we do is that we work on improving that. So each person improves it in their own special way. Then at the end, we all present it. Yes, there are a lot of reasons why uh, people should join Coding Club. Uh, one reason is because it helps your mind, especially your analytical side of your mind. Another reason is that you create something valuable and gain real-world uh, experience while doing that. Good job, Coding Club. That was really interesting. And moving on, we have Jim, who went into the hallways to test people on their tuna knowledge. Hello, all you fellow high schoolers. My name is Jim, and I've already shared with you two fish tail segments, but this one is going to be a new one. It's a bluefin tuna quiz, and it's just for me to see how much you know about these beautiful fish. And if you... And thanks for watching, and hopefully you uh, you can Google up some more fun facts about these giant, beautiful fish. See ya. What is the average size of a tuna boat? 30 to 50 feet, 40 to 6 feet, 80 to 90 feet, or all of the above? Go all of the above. You're right. And how long does it take a bluefin tuna to peel 200 yards of line off a fishing reel? 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or 40 seconds? 30 seconds. It's actually 10 seconds. And how much can a bluefin tuna weigh up to? 1,000 pounds, 1,200 pounds, 1,500 pounds, or 1,900 pounds? 1,500. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this fun segment. Have a great day. I'll be honest, a bluefin tuna is a crazy huge fish. It really is. And now let's give Jim a pop quiz about the bluefish tuna. Jim, come up. All right. True or false, the Atlantic bluefin tuna are cold-blooded. False. What is bluefin tuna called when in the form of sushi? It's like taro or fatty tuna. What do bluefin tuna eat? A, sardines, B, herring, C, mackerels, D, all of the above. All of the above. Those sound right to me. It looks like Jim knows as much about bluefin tuna like Ben knows movies. Now we go to Ross with an important message from Officer Powers about staying safe while driving in the winter. Tips you have for high schoolers for driving safely in the winter. Well, my first tip to the kids once they get their license is not to have any passengers because it's not worth losing your license for that time period. Um, winter driving, you know, just drive slow, you know. Um, even if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, you still have to stop. And even though all four wheels are in motion uh, on icy and uh, slippery roads, uh, it still takes a distance to stop. So the slower you go, the easier it's going to be to stop. Thanks for the advice, Officer Powers. Next up, we have a little something from last year's class, a Tim Kinsley QOTD. Hi, I'm Mr. Bishop, and you are watching HHS Today. Hi, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Kate. And you're watching HSS Today. I'm Drew Rangatori, and you're watching HHS TV. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Caroline. And you're watching HHS Today. Hi, I'm Mac. And I'm Ryan. And you're watching HHS TV. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Kane. And I'm Sarah Doyle. And you're watching HHS TV. I'm Justin Wade, and you're watching HHS TV. Hi, I'm Sophie Goodnow, and you're watching HHS TV. Hi, I'm Lily, and you're watching HHS TV. I'm Allie. And I'm Caroline. And you're watching HHS TV. That was uh, really interesting. Maybe our channel should get a corner logo. Coming up next, we have a special interview with the egg. Wait, the egg? Hi, my name is Declan Herr, and this is Matt Cardillo, and today we have an interesting segment we think you might like. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've definitely heard or seen a picture of the boring egg that got 50 million likes on Instagram. Yup, this picture is officially the new world record holder for the most likes on Instagram, previously held by Kylie Jenner. Anyway, thanks Matt, but I can't believe it beat her record of 18 million likes. In fact, we have a special guest right here. So how does it feel to have the most likes on Instagram? Not much of a talker, huh? Okay. 
Okay, so I guess that's it. See you next time for another edition of World Records with Matt and Declan. Oh, the egg! And for our final segment of the year, we thought we would highlight some of the great moments we had from last year. This is another great segment put together by last year's class. It's grass. Ain't it beautiful? Still got the hop flop. Now you can see, it's very nice. I happen to have a bag of popcorn right here. We'll just pop that in. Could use the popcorn button, but to be honest, the popcorn button's for suckers. True. The bishop takes the king. Check and mate. Unfortunately, our school was uh, vandalized by a member of the Holliston community. He decided to throw a clementine into the microwave and proceed to set the timer for an extremely long period of time, which eventually cooked the clementine inside the microwave and short-circuited it once the clementine exploded. Good morning, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. I'm your host, Kinsley Rolfe. The new HHS TV class is excited to be here and happy to have you watching. Good morning, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. We're your hosts, Caroline Lehman and Hannah Ionelli. Welcome to HHS Today. I'm your host, Ben Leibowitz. We're the 86 Boston Celtics. I would be Larry Bird. And I'm Kevin McHale. And I'm Danny Ainge. We are the HHS TV Dream Team. Mr. Fourth Quarter. Your mom's worst nightmare. Cam. What's going on HHS? I'm Emily Woodson. Today we're going to take a look at the greatest showman. I'd give it 8 out of 10 20th Century Fox logos. Because why not 20th Century Fox logos? Oh. <laughs> What dink memes do you guys all view? Oh, that's crazy. Anything SpongeBob related. Mulch. Where are we going? <laughs> this is the wheat I found in the fields. It's freshly farmed and harvested. Wow, that looks like one tough team to beat. And a handsome one as well, if I say so myself. What's going on, HHS? I'm Ben Woods, and today we will be taking a look at my personal favorite film of all time, The Birds. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode and the semester. Check us out online at hhs.today and let us know how we're doing and what we should be doing at hhstv at hillers.org. Have a great second semester and good luck.